Dave T1963 and I'm out scouting. I've seen a lot of does over here. I just found a lot of bedding back and stuff over here. Found this isolated pond right here and I found a perfect little funnel going through here. Now why I'm pointing this out is because people always ask me, would you ever set up in a tree? with a tree stand rather than a saddle. And this is one of those spots where I probably would. Let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm definitely gonna drop a camera in here. There's just too much sign. I've jumped too many deer in here consistently through the years. But look at this nasty tree right here. Now what I like about this is, there's the private property. There's an access trail that goes around here. I can, this is gonna be a freaking nightmare. But if I can get my stand even right here and get up against all this cover and just cut enough shooting lanes to shoot this funnel, this is an ideal spot. Now the wind could be a factor in here. It's kind of blowing just off here. It might be enough, you know. I'm really gonna have to pay attention to the wind in here, but man, this is the kind of tree getting up just high enough, taking advantage of all these dead limbs and there's a lot of live limbs in here too but just cutting out a spot in here where i can just stand up in here and shoot this funnel 15 yards away the deer will never see me in here they are not used to seeing people hunting in here i mean i have not found a single water bottle i haven't found a coke bottle there's hogs and stuff that's been bedding under here but i guarantee you they're using this pond there's no doubt in my mind now there's a big reservoir over here but in my experience deer much prefer these little hidden pockets of water than they would exposing themselves to a big body of water because they'll, they'll have fishing pressure from here dave t1963 out